New information about the sudden death of San Diego philanthropist and former publisher of the Union Tribune, David Copley. 10 News was first to report yesterday that Copley had been in an accident and died of a heart attack. 10 News anchor Virginia Cha is joining us now with insight into his final hours and the impact he made in San Diego. Virginia? Kim, there are few areas of San Diego that didn't benefit from the Copley family's contributions. In fact, David Copley was in the middle of doing what he loved when his friend says he showed the first signs that something was wrong. At the Copley Building, part of the Museum of Contemporary Art San Diego, director Hugh Davies remembers how passionate David Copley was about art. This is something that David was very excited about. Davies was one of the last people to see Copley alive. I had had lunch with him on Monday and he was very quiet and didn't and seemed tired. And I was a little concerned about him then, but at the meeting he was, um, he was lively. Copley had been leading a board meeting in La Jolla that ended at 6. He told me that he didn't feel well and I encouraged him just to go home. Fifteen minutes later, about a block away, Copley crashed his Aston Martin. Doctors say it looks like a heart attack. His health had not been, had not been good in general. The 60-year-old Copley had had a heart transplant in 2005, a year after his mother Helen died. The Copley family is behind many familiar landmarks in San Diego, including the Copley Family YMCA, Copley Symphony Hall, Copley Plaza in Balboa Park, buildings at USD, the establishment of UC San Diego, and the new Central Library downtown. It goes on and on what this family has done for this city and he is the last of that great line. In 2010 alone, the family's foundation gave more than $5.6 million in donations. In 2005, Copley was number 283 on the Forbes 400 list of richest Americans. The family's more than 80-year newspaper dynasty ended when Copley sold the then Union Tribune in 2009. I think if he hadn't been born to a newspaper family, he probably would have had a very successful career in the arts and he will be sorely missed. Davies Chair as Director of the Museum of Contemporary Art San Diego is permanently endowed thanks to the Copley family. How the Copley legacy will continue through the family's foundation, not yet clear. I'm Virginia Cha, 10 News. All right, Virginia, thank you.